Well, this is a truly fascinating, if not slightly condescending lecture, but um, I don't think I see the point, Stan. The point is that you are under a misconception that we are a superhero company. We are not. What we are, really, is a pharmaceutical company. And you are not our most valuable asset. That would be our confidential formula for compound V, which you, manchild that you are, released into the wild. Baby kale salad? I'm on page 134. Chain of command doesn't apply to other military contractors in the field. I don't see why it should apply to us. Caprese sandwich. Well, when they're in actual combat, whom exactly do your heroes report to? Same person as always. Me. Amazing. Great job, everybody. Madeline? Stop, please. Mr. Edgar. Uh, I, uh, I didn't know you were gonna come. Let me borrow you for a moment. Pentagon shelling out north of 40 billion per year. You should enjoy a bonus that reflects that. Don't know what you're talking about. Well, let me remind you. You slipped compound V to terrorists all over the globe to get you and your cronies into national defense, but maybe at the cost of destroying the whole company. I don't think I appreciate your tone, sir. Not much at all. And I don't appreciate that the FDA now knows about compound V or that it's only a matter of time before the public finds out. I, I don't know what to say. They'll say thank you. <sighs> thank you. Don't get too excited. Comes with strings. You're gonna need to move your office down to 82. That's your floor. And I'm gonna want you to start writing shotgun on my meetings. Hey, don't go plan on my retirement yet. Just mm -hmm. saying, someone needs to run this show when I move to Belize. Enjoy yourself, Madeline. Start thinking about the view from 82. While you're preening at the Golden Globes, we are busy running around like maniacs trying to clean up the mess you made. I don't have to consult you about Stormfront or anything else. Stormfront's good at making people angry. Angry people want Compound V. Compound V raises our stock price. Look. I'd have preferred V remained a secret, but we play with the cards we're dealt. It's not ruthless. It's prices per share. That's all. Maybe you should take a look in the mirror, mate. Because that should bother you. Of course she does. Fresco? No, thank you. Awful stuff. So you had a chance to look over our proposal? He publicly confessed to a sexual assault, Alistair. And we've made a substantial investment in the Deep's rehabilitation. Our internal research bureau shows an impressive Q rating. He's an asset to Vought in these troubled times. I can't lash out like some raging entitled maniac. That's a white man's luxury. So it's just business then, I. Eh? When? Mr. Butcher, in history, has it ever been about anything different? What about a train? You do need a speedster since Shockwave exploded. Harder sell. One has been back is redemption. Two is weakness. Stormfront has problems with him, and at the moment, I have to indulge her. What's your problem with a train? I understand that she was among your grandfather's first followers back when the collective was a startup. I don't have to tell you that our brand has been a bit tarnished since that nasty business last year, but you have restored a wholesome, trustworthy image to the company when we needed it the most, which is why the board wants to make you co-captain of the seven. What? Co-captain? Co I can neither confirm or deny that. <laughs> Then your internal research bureau knows exactly what Stormfront's problem is with A-Train. 
Deep is still a win. Shall I have business affairs reach out? Please do. Let me walk you out. Homelander. Could you give us a moment? Look, I'd really like to keep discussing this. Absolutely. Set a time with Samantha and we'll get you in. <laughs> mm. Great. No problem. Excellent. I mean, my schedule is pretty full, but I'll try and find you a window. The fame, the movies, the depraved sex, it ruined them. Cone of silence. In five years, I hope to be out of the superhero business entirely. Bull. This should be a serious company, a defense and pharmaceutical company. Not a daycare dealing with spoiled children and dead prostitutes. But the point is, you won't have to worry about any of that because your soldiers will only be super temporarily. Starlight, real power isn't this. It's the ability to bend the world to your will. You would decide what the seven do, what causes they support, full authority to fill the team's empty slots. I am offering you real power. Zoe won't rip my spine out. Let's not overreact. He used foul language during that birthday rant. So you make a public statement, a stern reprimand, some FCC fines, nothing serious. Just a reminder that he can't get away with anything. He's gonna love that. You'll be perfectly safe. And Zoe? Especially Zoe. Homelander might bark a little, but he won't bite. He's still afraid of me. If there's one thing I taught her, it was to play all sides. She's more like me than I ever imagined. But I am curious. What did you give her? A little respect, Stan. Something you should have given me. What good would that do? Where would it even go? But to the bottomless, gaping pit of insecurity you call a soul. Come on, you gotta sing the out of this song. Ready? Let's hit it. If Starlight doesn't want to sing, she doesn't sing. Stan, what a surprise. Our testing shows that 76% of likely viewers will make every effort to watch tonight for Starlight. As for you, 53% might DVR. I think that that means that she can call her own shots, don't you? Truly, you're not even pathetic. You're, you're just nothing. Then why are you still here? Looking for my approval, like I'm your daddy? And even if I were, what would there be to approve of? The company is yours. No one left to stand up to you. But I think you'll come to sorely regret that. So how about I just walk, Stan? How would that rate? After the PR hole you dug for yourself this past year, I'd say you're lucky we're putting on this farce at all. But hey, it's your party. You can cry if you want to. And why is that? Because there's no one left to cover for you either. Eventually, probably soon, the world will recognize you for the pitiful disappointment you are. You are not worthy of my respect. You are not a god. You are simply bad product.